We had several recordings of this, but this is the one which this is the best which you selected. That I selected. Yes. You going to play the last side? Yes. I want to be sure that it plays the right side. that it can be done. I do know there are many, many things I would have found pleasurable and satisfying in personal ways. I mean, to think that something you wrote may be known 50 years from now, what good does it do me? I mean, whereas if I spend some time hearing music or going to nice places, that, uh, nice places and enjoying the scenery as we have done sometimes. In the end, it might have been better for me personally. I don't know, you see. But the essential point is, life is irreversible. A far more serious question which I had to address myself was, is it justified that I demand of someone else, a sacrifice uh, to go along my own uh, desires. No, uh, I, uh, if this is going to be my lot, to be the wife of a scientist, then I took that as a challenge. And first of all, I had to take care of my husband do everything I can for him, so that he can do his work. It would have been nice if we could have had some life together, uh, apart from his science. But somehow, I committed myself to, to my husband, and I'm quite happy the way I have committed myself to him. And uh, I'm not, if you ask me, would I like to lead a different life if I had had the choice? I don't think so. I think uh, I'm quite satisfied the way things have gone. And we have really uh, got a lot out of each other. And uh, that is my satisfaction. That is his satisfaction. I don't think he has changed at all. He continues to be the same man in spirit, in his endeavors, in his outlook, in his everything, just as he was before. He is not by any means traditional at all, but I should think he is a very true Indian, Indian in spirit and in background. It's very difficult to explain. I've been here in the Europe so long, but when I go to India, out of the first few hours, I feel that I have never left, the, never left the country. I feel so at home. What is it which does it to you? I, I, I don't know. I have always quoted Nehru in this connection: the, the the roots of an Indian grow deep in the ancient soil. And though the future beckons, the past holds back. I mean, so, uh, I, I never, never felt uh, I became a stranger to India at any time. I have reason to believe that now, even after his Nobel Prize, getting the Nobel Prize, he is feeling lonely, that uh, the spirit of loneliness again he is feeling back again and he has been lonely all these years. And after all, uh, I think it is a rule, it is, a, it is fairly the, uh, happening that most great spirits are lonely in spirit.
you my friend fortune was not kind to me in this world whither i go i go i wander in the mountains i seek rest from my lonely heart i journey to the homeland to my resting place i shall never again go seeking the far distance my heart is still and awaits its hour